Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode two of season four of Titans. Last episode, we met Lex and the gang, you know, confronted him about his intentions to meet with Connor. Connor met with him regardless because he needs to know where he comes from and all that. And I, I get that. But Lex made some enemies that uh, he underestimated, it seems. And now it looks like Connor is the one that killed Lex. So that whole situation really backfired. Lots of spooky, bloody stuff's happening around the town that's affecting Rachel, which may, may be affecting Gar. It's definitely affecting Sebastian. And Mother May herself has already kind of kicked this whole thing off, as this apparently is all centering around this Temple of Azeroth that they found, which links it to Raven, her origins, her powers. And I saw some people speculate if this came full circle and brings us back to Trigon, which would be really interesting if that was the case. But I'm still kind of thinking that this will probably be something else. But we'll wait and find out. With that said, guys, we're going to go ahead and hop into this. So if you want to see the full length reaction, you check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gives you access as well. It is in watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync it up with the time code and watch my reaction to the entire thing. You also get the same thing for all the other shows we cover here and the movies as well. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, try to make it worth your while since you are going to do ways to support the channel. But of course, I know I never can do that. And a simple way you can help us out is just by liking, comment, subscribing, sharing these videos because it really does go a long way with helping us grow here on YouTube. And we're almost at 40K. I'm hoping to get there by the end of the year. So if you're new, if you tuned in for the first time, I'd really appreciate it. If you like the reaction, to hit that subscribe button. Stick around because we'll be reacting to the entire season as well as all things DC, Marvel, Star Wars, what have you. If it is pop culture, nerd related, whatever, we will usually be there. And then we have some off the cuff stuff here and there as well to keep things interesting. But guys, that all send out of the way. Let's go ahead and hop into episode two, Mother Mayhem. Here we go. <laughs> what? Metreon? Azeroth Metreon Zinthos? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Oh, uh. Ooh, whoa. What's going on? What the hell? That's a very mild reaction. Oh no. Oh, don't don't hurt the girl. What is with this freezing of the dude thing? Oh no, already in there. Saw him in the mirror. No, come on. We hope that in Metropolis, once the facts are known, he can still receive it. Oh shit. Oh, Dick? We gotta go back to Metropolis again. outside what they're saying about me tonight's not dampening him that much if he can still hear that well let's go wow standing guard with a chain gun address sent okay Corey be careful splitting up yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but let's do it. Left with very few options right now. Is this, one sound in the noise they say. All right. is this a dream or is this training? Is Gar training them? <laughs> you behind me, man. I know. Oh, Should have seen your face. I would appreciate it. if you didn't tell Dick. I almost pissed myself. Done. <laughs> oh, jeez. Walker, Skinwalker. Is that what I heard? Uh 
Uh-oh. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Man, I need to know what's going on. And I'm done asking any questions. Speak. It wasn't just Luther. The whole Lexcor inner circle died last night, choking on their own blood. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just the look of confusion on her face and disinterest. Gross. Gross. If only she like pulled out her phone and recorded it, then that would validate what Connor said. She tracing the source of the magic of the spell. Rachel. Ah, oh, so close. I don't know who did it, but I've seen where they've been. Come on. I mean, why, why, why did you interrupt her? Oh, well, they couldn't be in there very long. That's probably why. wants us to meet him and Rachel. Gar. Man, he's so like zoned in on something around here. Man, I'm loving this mystical, psychological, occult shit, man. I don't know what we're gonna find. She has visions. <laughs> she didn't tell me she had visions. Tim, keep up. Oh. Rachel. Mm. Jesus. Yes. Oh, the screams. Oh. Rachel? I think she's in shock. She might be seizing. Well, at least she's alive. <laughs> yeah. God. Guys, stand watch. Yo. Come on, kick his ass! Damn. Ah, she could've taken him. Come on! Kick his ass! Get back in there! Fuck him up! He believed that you were connected to it. If I were you, I'd spend a lot of time thinking about how. You can take the Luther hat off now. <laughs> Look me in the eye and tell me that'll make a difference to the people outside. You don't owe them a fucking thing. Miss Sanders, visitation time is up. And Connor's turning into his own little Hannibal Lecter right now. Think Tetris, but on an infinitely larger scale. With your fiscal support, of course. So it is. A, it was a game. <laughs> I wasn't too far off when I made that PlayStation joke. You have passion, but we need more than that. <laughs> Everyone's got some really leaky scalps. Okay. 
maybe he went to change the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi for lunch? There's 100% going to be an episode where they all get massacred. <laughs> <laughs> Draining their blood. Ooh, just noticed them there. I think that I think that was a scapegoat, or there's more than one. Mom, I didn't have the. Right. And you have one child, right? One child. And you live in San Diego. Oh no. You are the son, yes. I tried to reach you. She passed this morning. Take all the time you need here. Wait a second. fostering a new one maybe i'm so curious how this is going to unfold the good magic always wins you can keep the jacket no oh. we know who killed lex luther damn good hell Everyone yeah they got enough out of that to break him out not break him out There's but get him life. off i never want to come back to metropolis again Well, about that. I don't think we're leaving anytime soon. No, Alright, fuck me. But they've left Metropolis, what, three times now? And turned around each time? What's gonna happen? Yep, here we go. We're not alone. Oh. <laughs> here it is. The other clip we watched. This is just a hunch, but I'm going to assume she's a bad guy. <laughs> she killed Lex. Are you certain? It's not over until we stop her. Then let's finish this. Hell yeah. Why, why, why not let them leave? Like, she, they, they have to be a key to whatever plan she's got. Maybe Raven, that would make the most sense. But... Tim, relax. You gotta stick. Yeah, man, magic. Sorry, man, works on you. Oh. Check on Rachel, I, got I forgot about that. <laughs> and that's still wild. What happened? You saved their ass. Oh no. Oh no. Whatever she was doing, she was siphoning their powers. That's not good. If that gem's gone, that's not good. Oh, uh, I think she absorbed some energy from Corey too, though.
I need to know. I need to know what's going on, man. He's hearing the chanting. Interesting. I like that. I mean, the, the the just like in when we reacted to the clip of that fight, it, it's a little hokey. It's a little hokey. It's a little like we're showing off our Sony Vegas effects a little bit. But I still liked it in concept and premise. I love that they can't get away from Metropolis, man. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, man. It was some pretty wild stuff in this episode, though. From the investigation, them like following the breadcrumbs using Rachel's sensory abilities to track the magic across these various locations down to these people who seemingly, you know, that Mother Mayhem is kind of manipulating people as kind of these puppets, these pawns, or they're all, it, who knows? It could just be a network of them. We saw a shit ton of people there at the end, and who knows, maybe... Each one of them has a, has played a hand in everything that's going on, but then she's obviously it, it's very much alluding to the fact that she had to do with uh, Sebastian's mother passing away, cultivating him into I guess maybe a, a new follower, a new acolyte, a new uh, pariah. Who knows? I mean, we we know he's going to turn into Brother Blood in some way, shape, or form. How that will connect in with Mother Mayhem and the story that they're telling here is going to be really interesting to see how that goes and why she called him out. But, you know, Brother Blood and his cult uh, kind of goes with the game that he was pitching. It was not about competition. It's about community, belonging. And that's kind of one of his things. Um, so I'm curious to see how that whole thing goes. Um, still no... We got a little bit more of Gar freaking out, hearing voices, something chanting Skinwalker, which makes me wonder if somebody's placing a spell in each and every one of them. Um, Corey was under surveillance by Lex, and he was working with this group. So do they have an interest in certain members on the team for whatever it is that they are planning or plotting and trying to do? Is that why they needed Corey? Is that why they're looking after uh, baiting in Rachel? Is that why... They need Beast Boy for something, or is the Beast Boy's thing going to be something all to itself that's something happening with him and his powers continuing to evolve? I mean, he had that vision of that red desert with that witchy-ass-looking tree. Um, but yeah, Dick in the, with the moment with Arya, giving her the jacket, the little speech about Bruce and him and then all that, that was really nice. I like that. The back and forth, the banter with everything going on within the team and them trying to figure everything out. I really like that. Again, I think the pacing of these first two episodes were really strong, especially compared to the the previous seasons, at least. Um, I really enjoyed it, man. I really liked it. I, we're settling with Lex being dead, so we only got one episode with Lex, unless something happens and he's resurrected. They stole Rachel's gemstone, which is what was containing Trigon. Um, they sapped energy out of Cory, and who knows what they're using with that. They're using it for something else. They got this Temple of Azeroth here that they're chanting the the mantra of Raven and her people. So, like, what is that going to entail? I really want to know. Is that a Lazarus pit? Is that blood? What What do we got there? Uh, a corrupted Lazarus pit. Because uh, also we saw Deathstroke in one of the trailers, so... Is he going to be brought back from the dead? Is that going to be a vision, like a dream nightmare sequence? Because there's a lot of uh, a lot of dreamscape, dream walking going on in this as well, you, involving Rachel. So it could be that as well. I don't know. A lot of interesting concepts being played around with this. I really like it. It's very it's it stands out from anything we've seen before, and I, it's got me really intrigued. And I like the team dynamic right now. And even Connor with this conflicted nature that he's got with this Lex side and the Superman side, he's been all about optimistic and then just seeing the truth in Lex's words kind of reflected in what he's hearing of the people out of this one little incident, even though he's kind of been acquitted of all that. I like seeing it. It's not, it's, it's weighing him down a little bit, but at least when he's with the team and they're leaving, 
you know, they're playing Uno and all that. Like, you can see a little bit of jovialness coming out of him, which is nice to see. But I'm curious to see how that's going to go when he's forced back into Metropolis. Now that they try to leave, Mother Mame was like, nope, ye shall not pass. But guys, what did you think of the first two episodes of Titan Season 4? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reactions, it's going to be on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. And speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrod, Ryan, Karen, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McCann, Jeffrey Hale, and M. Sephiroth. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's it for this episode, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.